Getting that first client was painstakingly hard because the my online following was incredibly different from my in-person following. Uh, it's just a different clientele. So I wasn't sure how was, what questions to ask, who I should address. I had an idea, but it wasn't quite formed. So I ran some incredibly expensive Facebook ads, <laughs> got those first 10 people. It was so exciting. That's for, you think, Oh my gosh, just 10 people, but those first 10 people to sign up, it was, it was incredible. And I reached out to all 10 of those people and asked them a list of questions. Where are you from? Who are you? What are your goals? What do you want out of life? Uh, what, how do you see this benefiting you? Tell me in your own words, what you're looking for. And then I was really able to nail down who my target audience was. And that is incredibly important when you're looking at building your system, you've got to know who you're talking to. And so I had to figure out who I was talking to first and finding those first 10 people was, was quite challenging. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine. And it, it, it sounds like uh, you've, you've taken some of the, maybe the principles of, of um, you know, that, that face-to-face meeting where you get to mm-hmm. kind of sit down, talk to them and um, understand them, get to know them a little bit better, except you're just uh, doing it via phone or, or was there a video in this case? Well, it was, it was phone. It was just, I just called them on the phone. It was a 20 to 30 minute conversation. Just, Hey, I want to get to know you. And, and that really it gave me insight into who I was talking to online. And then that helped me hone and direct my newsletter sequence. So then when I, when I, when we start talking about funnels, I mean, that's who I am directing to is that person that I talked to on the phone. And I got that idea of that persona. I'm like, okay. And that's who I'm addressing now. All right. I think that's, that's really powerful. And it's, uh, with the online space, people who maybe just start, um, online first without doing that, you know, the face to face, uh, the beginning, maybe skip the part of getting to know the customer and they can think they can, well, I'm, I'm not talking local here to, you know, Betty around the corner. I'm talking to the whole world here. So they almost become, become generic. And I think mm-hmm. what the process you went through, everyone needs to go through uh, cause you really need to know, uh, uh, exactly who you're speaking to and speak to that person because when people are actually receiving those, those communications, they're going to feel like they're being spoken directly to, which I'm sure has had, had a big impact. You want to tell, talk to us about um, the personalization, how that has maybe impacted your business. And yeah, let's then jump into the email sequence. Well, yeah. I mean, if you're trying to talk to everybody, you're going to end up talking to no one. I mean, you're not going to resonate with anyone. And if, if you're not resonating with them, you're not going to connect. And then you're not going to be able to sell anything because there's not going to be that, be that connection on for the service that you're trying to provide for them and how you're trying to help them. So I think it's, it's important to be yourself and to be opinionated a little bit so that you can, you can connect there. So um, going back to that personalization, after interviewing those 10 people and kind of getting a really good picture, they were very similar. Apparently I attract a type driven women <laughs> who want to be in better shape after having a baby. So that was, I nailed down my target on it. So I was like, all right, I can write to this woman. Uh, so then that I had that picture of who my target audience was, who resonated with me best. And then when I sit down to write that email sequence and get that funnel in place, I'm connecting with that specific person in mind.